Well, I'm going to teach you how to make one of my all-time favorite sauces. This sauce, tzatziki, is good on so many things. It's basically a yogurt cucumber sauce that I add a little bit of sour cream to and garlic and dill. Anyway, I'll show you how to make it. It's so good on chicken, on fish, on vegetables, on the rice and lentil salad that I have the video for. Anyway, so let's get started. Into the bowl, I want to grate, and I prefer grated as opposed to chopped, because then when you use it as a sauce, it's just a little bit more fine. This will give off a little bit of water, but that'll be okay because I'm using Greek yogurt, which is a bit thicker, and the sour cream is sort of thick. Okay, then we're going to add 50% sour cream and 50% Greek style yogurt. When you're buying the yogurt, you wanna make sure that it is milk and the live cultures, nothing else. A lot of yogurts put corn syrup and that has no business being in yogurt. You can add your own sugars, by the way, of honey or something like that, or brown sugar on the top of a dessert. But anyway, 50-50 yogurt, sour cream, or you could change the proportions around a little bit. That's just a proportion that I really like. Then we're going to add the juice of a quarter to a half a lemon, this one's pretty juicy, so I'm not gonna juice that. Well, I guess I will. Yeah, that's the juice of a half a lemon. So I am making a lot. I like to have this in the refrigerator. It holds up really well, and it's just so good, like I say, on burgers, too. It's a dip for french fries, believe it or not. We're going to add some dill. If you're using fresh, the proportion fresh to dried is usually half the amount dried and some fresh ground pepper, a little bit of salt. We're gonna add a drizzle of olive oil. And we're going to add a couple of garlic cloves that I'm going to put through the press because I want the garlic nice and fine, much more fine than if I were to chop it. And this is really fast too, by the way. And it's going to give, actually, I'm gonna add one more clove of garlic, so that'll be three decent-sized garlic cloves because the garlic adds a wonderful flavor to this. And then what we're going to do is whisk it up. That's the easiest way to mix this. Well, it sure looks good, no two ways about that. All right, so what we want to do is, of course, taste it and let's see how it turned out. Mm-mm, that's really good. Oh my, so this is also really good on the side of smoked fish too. I'll put some in a bowl. I think we'll put some onto our lentils and rice. And we can also serve this with radishes and cu extra cucumber on the side, toast points. So there you have it. Easy, fast sauce, tzatziki, something you can keep in your refrigerator for a while. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope you try that and report back if you do. Bye for now.